Isaac comes into the land of Abimelech, and God repeats his promise. God says he will be with Isaac. He says he will bless Isaac. He says he will give those lands to Isaac and his descendants. He says he will multiply his offspring like the stars of heaven. He says that through his descendants all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Why? Because Abraham obeyed the voice of God, obeyed his commandments. What if your choice to obey or not obey today had eternal impact for the people of every nation? Are you important to God and his plan? <laughs> yes. You are important enough for God to think you up and form you and to make plans for you, even to write you in his book. Psalm 139 says that God formed you in your mother's womb. It says that every day of your life was recorded in God's book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. Jeremiah 29.11 says God knows the plans he has for you. There are plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. God hasn't planned disaster for you. Satan came to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came to give us abundant life. God's plans for you are good. He only is good towards you. His ways are good. He is always good. He is always love. He is always holy and perfect. He is always true. He is always just. If you believed all that true stuff about the one true God, wouldn't you want to live out His plans for you? Wouldn't obeying Him be a really, really good idea? Wouldn't not living according to His word be a non-choice, a really, really bad idea? Choose to obey God's word. It means choosing to live in the blessing and become a blessing to the nations.